Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Thursday morning, and everybody's been going to bed early-ish. I think last night we were all in, well, kiddo fell asleep like at 11.30, so I was asleep before midnight, which is early for me, um, typically, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and everybody was up by like 7.15, which is early for us, but I'm okay with that. I feel like if this becomes the new like cycle, the new trend, that's fine with me because I don't mind getting a little, you know, slightly earlier start to the day. If it means we're all going to bed a little earlier, I, I can deal with that. Um, so what's happening today? We have two therapies today, not three. Usually Thursday is hell day, but I mentioned in the last episode and probably in the episode before that, that one of our therapists is on vacation for the next couple of weeks. So we don't have a hell day this week and we don't have a hell day next week. Kiddo is having a baby barnacle day. So we hung out on the couch for a little bit and now that he's settled, I'm somewhere else so that he's not on camera. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that the fact that the therapist has been out just honestly for a day so far and then we had another cancellation earlier in the week it's just been two extra hours in the week but i've been so productive i've gotten such a huge jump on my to-do list and that's fantastic because that means that going into mother's day weekend i don't have very much on my plate at all um i even actually finished unpacking finally we had one huge tupperware here he comes <laughs> So this is pretty much the only way, I'm like almost out of frame and I'm backlit, but this is the only way that I can talk to you guys and also have the baby barnacle attached. Yeah, so I was saying we still had this one giant um, big black industrial like Tupperware bin in the kitchen and we didn't have space for the stuff in there. We didn't know what we were gonna do with it. And yesterday I was just like, I'm, I'm getting rid of it today. One way or the other, I'm either throwing everything out, I'm gonna start reorganizing something in the kitchen so that I can clear a shelf, something. But I'm getting rid of this bin today. And sure enough, I did it. So officially, officially now, it took less than six months. <laughs> Which I mean, honestly, we have been moved in for months, save for that one bin. But yeah, that one bin was the, the one thing that was keeping me from, okay, check, officially we're 100% moved into the house um, and it's done now. So <clears throat> I was talking to my husband last night about how not necessarily this weekend, but soon I really want to like collect all of the frames, like all the photos and canvases Hello. and things that we have because there's a lot of them and kind of mock up where we want to hang them up on all of the walls because we've only got a few up right now. I think less than a handful really but we have way, way more where that came from. And I actually just bought myself, I think like half a dozen tiles um, from Shutterfly. So there's gonna, there's more where that came from basically. So I wanna make sure, ah, uh, the life of the mom of a barnacle. Yum, 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 yum. So yes, yeah, so I wanna make sure that we, um, we start putting things up because I don't want them to just sit somewhere collecting dust. I want them to be on display. That's gonna make vlogging more complicated as it is right now. I'm using my head to block a photo of my son while my actual son <laughs> uh, is sitting on my lap. So yeah complicated but not impossible so that's something that i have to keep in mind as well i also want to put a shelf above the tv so that we can put some frames up there but also so we can put some trailing plants because i think that'll look really pretty to have plants kind of framing the tv i have big plants i just uh don't know when i'm going to implement them yet but the good news is that at least we're properly unpacked and moved in now what is so funny? So the last episode, I'll post it up here in case, well, up here, in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, there was a lot of maybe unpopular opinions, definitely spicy takes. I'm still in that mood, don't get me wrong. There's still likely gonna be some spicy takes in this episode. Um, it's just been a vibe I've been feeling lately. Like I'm just really mad <laughs> at everything. <laughs> And I know that at this particular moment in history, I'm not alone. Um, I just happen to have a platform to share it. So a very small platform, but a platform yeah. nonetheless. 
So yeah, I'm gonna uh. speak my mind and um, hopefully you guys are here for the ride and if not, there's lots of other creators out there. Hate to lose you, but it is what it is. Right, buddy? Gotta be who we are. Speaking of, there was something that I saw in the news this morning yeah. that directly correlates to the last thing I said in the last episode. So um, I'm gonna sign off for now because I think I've been talking a while. I don't even know because there's been so many like changes in setting and whatnot, but I'm gonna... <laughs> Stop talking right now. I'm gonna wish you a happy Monday and I'm going to insert the clip from the news here. COVID-19 cases. As John Lawrence reports, experts say sub-variants are to blame. The U.S. is averaging nearly 58,000 new COVID-19 cases per day, according to Johns Hopkins University. That's roughly a 10% hike from the week before. I'm super tired. Um, I'm a little bit out of breath. Among those recently infected with the virus, people aboard a Carnival cruise ship that docked in Seattle earlier this week. We shouldn't be cruising just because we're vaccinated. Others affected, numerous journalists. A source familiar with the matter says that includes ABC's Jonathan Carl, who tested positive for COVID-19 two days after attending the White House Correspondents' Dinner. That's what I was talking weekend. about in the last episode. Also testing positive after the event, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who will maintain a virtual work schedule. He's not seen the president in several days, um, and he's not considered a close contact. The World Health Organization reported COVID-19 cases and deaths are at their lowest globally in more than two years. However, these trends, while welcome, don't tell the full story. Driven by Omicron subvariants, we are seeing an increase in reported cases in Americas and Africa. The and Department also, and imagine all the unreported cases. Hospitalizations have gone up in 26 states over the past seven days, primarily in the eastern half of the country. Great. John Lawrence, <sighs> today in Florida. The CDC predicts the U.S. will surpass more than a million COVID-related deaths as soon. The World Health Organization says nearly 15 million people globally have How much you want to bet they talk about some party or something? Oh, I'm surprised. Because usually that's what happens. They're like, COVID, 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 death and doom. We're all going to die. This has been, oh my gosh, so terrible. And then they're like, and by the way, this weekend, pool party and, you know, freaking the race and all these other social events that you can hobnob at. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday, my friends. Um, uh, everybody slept fine. Everybody went to sleep at a decent-ish hour. Um, everybody woke up at a decent-ish hour. But my son woke up very complainy. And he keeps holding the front of his head and, like, watching the TV or his iPad, like, through his fingers like that. And... As for my part, I um, I woke up, I had my coffee, I had my breakfast, and while I was having breakfast, I started to feel like the beginning of a migraine, and I was like, crap, man, not today. Like, I'm trying to have a good day today. Uh, is it really going to have to be a migraine day? Problem, or not the problem, I mean, the migraines are always a problem, but what's different about today is that typically... I can feel the migraine building and building and it takes like sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes an hour, sometimes a couple hours to finally hit the point where like, oh yeah, this is a migraine. Today, it was like zero to 60 in a matter of seconds. Like, oh, I'm feeling that it's, whoa, okay, okay, I have a migraine. And it just happened really, really quickly. Uh, I'm feeling like trash. I'm feeling like I was hit by a train. I'm not feeling very well at all. <laughs> Luckily, today we've only got one therapy scheduled. Unluckily, though, because we've only got the one therapy scheduled, I have literally, I counted, 18 things on my to-do list today besides therapy. Um, so, like, the obvious like stuff I have to do around the house and like preparing and you know eating lunch um, and my exercise and things like that but also like 
my planner video and getting that edited. Um, what else is on here? Like Mother's Day type prep. Um, I have to do a grocery order. I have to do some homeschooling stuff that we're behind on. I wanted to do some like scheduling for the channel actually, like starting to think ahead what videos I want to put out for the rest of May and for June and then decide like, okay, so based on that schedule that I want to stick to, when do I have to record or like by when do I have to have each video recorded so I have time to edit, etc., and get it up at that time. Um, and I do that every month. Today just happened to be the day that I wanted to do June. But now I don't know. I guess I'll see how I'm feeling as the morning progresses and kind of adjust as necessary. Um, speaking of Mother's Day, we don't, we still kind of don't have plans. Um, I know what I want to do, which is I want to stay here and watch the F1 race because Miami just built a new track, which is obscene and ridiculous. Changing angles because the kiddo is here now. Um, yeah, so the inaugural race, the very first race, at the Miami track happens to be on Mother's Day. So I would be perfectly happy just being here watching that. Um, I've already scheduled a DoorDash order to my sister's house because I figured if I can't give her more sleep and if I can't clean her house, then maybe I could at least cover breakfast so that that's one last thing that she has to do that day. So I have um, breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> Scheduled to go to her house with coffee, of course, and with hot cocoa for my nephews because they're obsessed with hot cocoa. So, um, so that's handled. And then I got my grandma a really nice blanket, and I got my mom. At this point, this video is coming out after Mother's Day, so I could tell you guys. She said that she wanted a popcorn, like a microwave popcorn maker, for Mother's Day, which was kind of silly. I thought, like, really? That's like an $8 thing you get at Target. Like, that's dumb. I don't know, whatever. But that's what she wants. So <laughs> instead, I got her this really, really nice looking, like, glass one that um, makes a ton of popcorn, apparently. And I also got her some organic popcorn curdles. So, I mean, it's not what I would have wanted for Mother's Day, but that's what she said she wanted, so that's what I got her. So, I obviously would like to see my mom, and ideally I'd see my grandma too, on Mother's Day, but COVID. So, I don't know how that's going to work, particularly for my grandma. Um, and then, the other thing is that this is the first year that, you know, it's Mother's Day without my abuela and we kind of don't know how to be about that because um, first off, you know, it's still pretty raw. It just happened just a few weeks ago, really. And also typically, you know, pre-COVID for Mother's Day, we would have gone to her house. So it's very, very different this year. It definitely feels like there's an elephant in the room. And so I'm trying to see if I can convince my parents to come here and watch the race so that we're all still together. But I want it to feel as like not like Mother's Day as possible, if that makes sense, just because I don't want it to feel... <clears throat> I don't want to accentuate the fact that something so big is missing. My dad and I both are very avoidant people when it comes to feeling big feelings. Um, and so it's easier to try to have a distraction than to just own up to and embrace and dive into the fact that this year is so different. Um, maybe next year it'll be easier, but at least for this year, that's just kind of what I had in mind, what I hoped would happen. I'm still not sure if, if they are gonna end up coming over though, because my dad's just like, he doesn't wanna do anything at all, which I understand, but I wish he'd allow us to distract him because I think he could use it and honestly, so could I. So we'll see, we'll see what shakes out. But for today anyway, 
I'm just gonna honestly try to keep my head above water and do all the things that I need to do on my list um, while also dealing with this freaking migraine. And uh, yeah, happy Friday. How pretty. Finish your lunch? Finish your lunch. Those are huge. This is a baby. This is a baby. I have another one out there. Hey friends, happy Sunday. Um, I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday. I honestly just didn't feel like it. I had a headache on and off all day. My mental health was kind of crap yesterday, to be honest. Um, we just kind of, we watched the qualifying for the Miami Grand Prix. We actually went to my parents' house to watch it because Kato asked to go over and we figured might as well because I don't know if I'm gonna get to see my parents today. Um, They've decided not to come for the race. My dad would rather just be at home. And I don't want to like invite myself over in case he'd rather be alone. I think I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this is our first Mother's Day without my grandma. So as much as I was hoping to be able to provide a distraction for him, everybody has to go through things in their own way. And that's the way that he's decided he'd rather spend the day. So, um, yeah. Today, I was able to sleep in. <laughs> hubby, uh, hubby and the kiddo had breakfast so that I could relax in bed. And um, so I didn't wake up until like almost 10 a.m., which was lovely. And we're just hanging out on the couch now, everybody just chilling under my cozy blanket. And the actual race is in a few hours, so we're gonna watch that. Um, Hoping my parents change their mind, but I'm not really holding my breath for that. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I honestly don't know how much more I'm going to record today. I know this video is probably kind of short and probably kind of boring. It just is what it is. I couldn't have predicted how I was going to feel today. And I feel alright, I suppose. But kind of just not feeling like doing very much and i know that that doesn't make for very entertaining content but it just kind of is what it is so hopefully i'll see you guys before tonight and if not we will chat again at the outro i suppose but in the meantime happy sunday All right, pallies, it's Sunday night, the AC's on, so sorry about the background noise, but I'm just here enjoying a very, very large London fog. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. It's been a super, super nice day. Um, I wish I'd gotten to spend it with more of my family, but that's not the way it worked out this year. Um, my, my mom came over and she picked up her present and she dropped off presents like from her and from my grandma as well and everything i got today was so 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 nice and so very me so i'm super super happy obviously it's not about the gifts but it's just nice to have so many people around me that like i don't know like i feel seen you know because i feel like the gifts i got this year from everybody were not just like oh crap I gotta get her something let me just grab a generic thing like they were all things that very much spoke to me and who I am and like my preferences and that always feels nice right because it's like I feel listened to you know um yeah so that was nice uh what else what else oh I completely forgot to mention I guess because I didn't record anything yesterday but one of the things we did excuse me one of the things we did yesterday was 
we started to watch the new Batman movie because it's free through tomorrow for me. So yesterday for you, sorry, um, on HBO Max right now. And so we started watching it and it's pretty good. Like it's not like gripping or anything, but it's all right. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. And um, so we were watching it for a while and it starts to get late and we're like, there's gotta be what, like an hour left, right? Cause we've been watching for a bit. There was an hour and 40 minutes left in the movie. It's three hours long, like three entire, not almost three, it's three entire hours long. So <laughs> we stopped it right there. And I guess we're gonna continue it tonight and finish it um, after bedtime. But yeah, so far so good, I guess. So assuming we're able to finish it before HBO Max pulls it, I will let you guys know in the next episode what I thought of it without any spoilers, of course, but yeah. To the point that we've watched it so far, so good. So that's pretty much, that's it. Like that's what we did this weekend. Um, and I feel like it probably wasn't much, but like I said earlier, that's just how it worked out. Hopefully next year will be better. All things considered, I don't think it was bad, but here's hoping that we're all in a better headspace and that we're all able to physically get together and enjoy each other's company all at once this time next year so i'd love to know what you guys did this weekend and if you're having a bit of a hard time because of mother's day you're not alone lots and lots of hugs to you oh and i'm getting emotional um yeah i just i hope that you guys had a good weekend regardless and i will see you in the next one or i guess you'll see me i hate when people say i'll see you in the next one because i won't i won't see any of you you will see me in the next one but that doesn't sound as nice i want to thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did i hope that you'll please give it a big thumbs up i'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because i post at least three times a week and i wouldn't want you to miss a minute Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.